Another idea, another idea. Another idea. Michael. <laughs> Thank you, Remy. Yeah, get on the ball. <laughs> Off you go, then. I think Mum would probably pick up on this about, you know, saying at the end of the day, well, you're not going in the army because you've got all these, you've got your letter, your rejection, and then let um, Carl come out with his, his sort of feelings that he's been hard done to. You can do it. I know you want to join, but you had your letter last week. You can't, you can't, they won't accept you. You're hearing problems. He can apply again next year. You, who knows his hearing may get better. It was a permanent thing. The doctor said it wasn't going to get any better. Jeez, Susie, give the boy some hope. You know what? Well, it's, it's your fault, if you think about it. It's my fault? Yeah, it's your fault. When I was young, it, that's when it happened. Oh, don't. Don't blame her. Well, who else am I going to blame? It's not my fault, it's not your fault, I didn't even know you. It's no one's fault except my mum. She should have took better care of me, but no, it's she didn't. It's a genetic problem! It's not a genetic problem. Have some respect for your mother. I understand that you're upset, but you can't go around blaming us. This is biology. <laughs> I don't buy it. I don't buy the whole genetics thing. I don't think that Grandad was partially deaf. I think it was the fact that you just... You were too lazy to look after me, really. Too I mean, you know, lazy to yes. look after you. You were too lazy to look after me. You don't even look after me now. I have to iron my own clothes. That's <laughs> 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 All right, we'll leave it there.